Okay, this is uh, Mac, and I'm, today I'm going to show you how to uh, install the Google IME on a Windows 8.1 system. This should be the same for Windows 8 um, as well. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Google IME, it's kind of a, it's a, well, it's, it is superior to the Microsoft IME. Uh, it just has a lot more options, um, a lot better at predicting kanji, and uh, allows you to type a lot of uh, rare kanji that you can't type with Microsoft, which is good or a bad thing, um, because sometimes you might end up uh, typing kanji that you don't really need to be typing. But um, it, it's just a lot easier to type with because it's a lot better at predicting uh, what you want to say and what you want to type, um, phrases and expressions and things like that, because it, uh, it has the Google engine behind it as well as it kind of learns from you what you usually end up typing so it makes uh, typing in Japanese a lot easier than the Microsoft one. Um, so I'm here on the Google homepage um, and always up-to-date uh, link to the Google IME is just search for Google IME click here there's two different versions there's the Chinese version uh, in the Japanese version, we're going to install the Japanese version. Um, and then you have this handy page that talks about all the, the cool things that Google IME is. And then you just want to click here to download. And then this is just your standard uh, privacy policy kind of stuff. This is privacy policy, um, rules for using it, um, you know. If uh, it's just standard stuff, don't abuse it. Um, the one thing I guess to uh, notice here is that uh, Google is asking you if you want to send usage data or um, a damage report, a crash report if uh, Google IME crashes, if it's okay to send that information to Google uh, from the from the Google um, IME keyboard. And if you want to do that, you just click this option. If you don't, then uh, unclick that option. Uh, I'm going to elect to send the information to Google because it doesn't really bother me. Uh, and then you want to run. And it's installing here. And then once it's uh, installed, you have this uh, menu. And of course, um, you probably want to set it as a default IME which is that one. Um, here, this is to disable the keyboard layout hotkey. This is to shift between um, keyboards, to shift between IMEs, uh, shift between uh, keyboards, I think. Um, this is really useful if you are on a uh, English keyboard. You would want to uncheck this box. If you're on a Japanese keyboard, um, there's a specific key that you can use to shift between keyboards, shift between Japanese and English, uh, what they call direct input in, um, uh, in hiragana or katakana input. And so you don't really need this, so you can just disable it. I, I'm going to disable it um, because I have a Japanese keyboard. Last one, uh, to migrate the Microsoft IME's user dictionary to Google Japanese input. That's just if you um, happen to add some words into the user dictionary for the Microsoft one before you did this uh, install, you would want to import those uh, words over into the Google um, Google dictionary. And hit OK. Um, Windows 8.1 does its little thing in the background. And then down here, you can uh, see your options. You want to select, this is uh, standard Japanese Microsoft IME, but you want to go down and select Japanese Google Japanese input. And it will, should switch here, yes. And then um, you'll be able to uh, type in Google IME. Okay, for some reason you didn't like me to switch that. Um, and of course, um, 
you want to uh, switch to hiragana. This is um, will give you the this one, which uso usu noro. This is a word from um, Harry Potter <clears throat> that usually doesn't use its kanji, but as you can see, you can um, type it and get the kanji for this particular word, which I'm gonna guess, yeah, is not common. <laughs> this I'm on alk. This is a very um, I think a little bit more useful uh, dictionary because it has a lot of translations and phrases and things and it'll show you what's common and what's not common. This is uh, not common, it's usually written in kana it looks like. Um, very useful word. <laughs> Chucklehead, Bullard, <laughs> um, that's the uh, use in Harry Potter. So um, there you go, you can type in, uh, you can type this rare kanji. Um, that you couldn't normally type in um, actually Microsoft IME um, which I'll just show you a little bit here in Microsoft IME it doesn't even give you the option but with um, if you switch back to Google then it'll give you the option and Google's a little bit better at um, kind of keeping this um, uncluttered and giving you better suggestions uh, for that. If you, um, just to show you a few options, if you if you go to kanji, you just can just select that, but if you want to go back to kana, you can just hit the backspace, it'll, uh, it'll give you the, your kana back um, that you can use. But very handy, um, I hope this helps in uh, 8.1 very easy to set up um, and uh, you can just start typing in Japanese. Of course before you do this uh, you should enable um, Japanese fonts and uh, for uh, Google IME uh, Japanese fonts, Asian fonts um, and that is in um, uh, PC settings I believe. And that's it. Enjoy your Google IME.